Hello, this is Shannon, one of your favorite makeup artists. I hope I am. And today in the pretty department, hey, that's my department, we're gonna talk about getting paid in the union. All right, okay? It's part of the professional series, all right? So, you are now a part of the union. There are two makeup artists union that are super popular, okay? There's one in the Midwest as well, but the two most popular makeup artist unions are 798, which is based out of New York, which is the union that I'm a part of, and 706, which is based out of Los Angeles, all right? So 798 covers the entire East Coast and 706 covers the entire West Coast, or the majority of it. And it sometimes overlays in the Midwest as well, all right? So you've gotten into the makeup artist union, you've gotten to, you gone through the interview and now that you're in the union your rate and your money is going to be different than when you were freelancing and you were trying to get into the union and you were doing non-union jobs so the way that the union works is the union each particular job has a specific rate that is negotiated before you even walk into the set the producers negotiate that rate with the union there's a contract all of these things happen that you are not privy to initially now you are privy to getting the contract information you are privy to knowing what the rates are um, you are privy to knowing when they're going to negotiate the new rate. So that's not in the dark for you as a part of the union. But you get hired for a job. There's a different rate for the department head makeup artist. There's a different rate for the key makeup artist. And there's a different rate for the second or third or an additional um, makeup artist or a day player. Okay? So... The rate is determined by the studio or by the particular job, and normally the producers, not normally, the line producer will let you know what that rate is. So for example, this is just a sample rate because they change for each individual job, okay? Um, for a sample rate, your department head might be $70 an hour, okay? And that's for an eight hour day, and, but that's for eight hours, And but we work a 12 hour day in film, especially in union film, or you normally work a 12 hour day. So it's $70 for uh, eight, $70 an hour, for eight hours and then left the last four hours or a time and a half and if you go over 12 hours then you're in um, double overtime okay so if you work a 14 or a 15 hour day then you're making double that amount of money which is a lot of times people say really good money all right so if you're $70 an hour as the department head you might be $67 or $65 an hour $62 an hour as the key makeup artist and then you might be you know, again, depending on the contract, you might be $54 or $53 as a second or a third or additional. So normally the second or the third or the additional makeup artists all make around the same rate or if not the same rate. Again, that rate is for eight hours and then after eight hours in those last four hours of that 12 hours, you get time and a half. And then after those 12 hours, then you get double time and so forth and so on. And again, all of that's laid out to you within your contract. You also normally get a kit rental, a makeup kit rental, and that's daily as well. All right. So again, it depends, but the standard makeup kit rental, depending on the job, is normally between 30 to $50, but it normally is like $35 a day. All right. So you get your rate. For your day and plus you get a kit rental as well and you add that together and the reason why you have your get a kit rental is because although they if you are a department head or key they give you a budget or majority of the time they give you a budget in order for you to buy some makeup supplies in order to do your job they don't buy you everything they're not giving you access to everything so you still need to use your kit every day daily your brushes so forth and so on so they are you are quote unquote renting that from you all right so you can also negotiate your rates if you are a makeup artist or department head makeup artist once you're going into a meeting and greeting with your producers or with the directors, whoever is hiring you for the film. So you, although there is a rate that is determined in order for you to work underneath that contract, you are allowed to come in and say, hey, this is the rate that I would like. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna get it, but you are allowed to negotiate your rate and say, hey, I wanna have this particular rate because I'm doing these particular skills. But the union is also there to help you and support you. So that's what's so great about the union. The rates are normally already fixed. You know what you're going to make. You know how much you're going to make on your kit. You're going to get paid on this particular day. You're going to get, you know, these particular rules and regulations. So a lot of it is, is drawn out. There are also tiers when it comes to rates for the union. So what I mean by that is that you're now in the union. They now have like tier zero films or projects, tier one, tier two, tier three, so forth and so on. If it's a lower tier, it's a lower rate. So remember how I said that $70 rate? That's a great rate, people would say, okay? But there are rates that are like $22 an hour and $23 an hour if you're doing like tiers. And again, those are lower budget films that do have union actors and they have a union crew, but they may not have a large major budget, all right? But yet you're still getting, you know, a decent rate 
for um, and you're still normally getting a, a kit as well and you are working the same amount of hours your rate is just not higher and then they have something called their majors contract meaning that's a major so those major motion film movies that rate may be a significantly higher or a little bit higher than your rate for like a television show all right but their guarantee rates is normally a decent amount of money and you can it's a livable wage majority of the time and you don't have to negotiate if you're going to get paid if you're not going to get paid if you're going to get a kit if you're not going to get a kit because all of those things are taken care of so being a part of a makeup artist union you know if it's something that is helpful for you and it's something that you know you feel like you know you want to be a part of i would ho hopefully encourage it I'm talking about money, all right? But the last thing I wanna talk about money if you're a part of the union and getting paid, it also pays for your pension, it goes into a pension fund, and also your health insurance as well. So although that may not be money that's physically in your pocket today, there is money that is later on. So when you're freelancing, you know, and you're working for yourself, a lot of times, you know, you can't afford health insurance outright every single month, or you're not even thinking about retirement or a pension when it's all said and done. So being a part of the union, they're also taking out those rates as well and putting them aside for you. So therefore, when a rainy day comes or if you need to go into them, you have something to back up, back off on. So it's money that you don't see, but money that you're making and it's preparing you for the future. So that's about, you know, getting paid when you work for the union. You know, a lot of it, you don't have to negotiate as much because they've already done the negotiation for you. You still can negotiate if you need to negotiate. You know, if you want to have a little wiggle room there, but you're normally taken care of, people are normally, you know, looked out for and things are, you know, in a safer environment in a safer, you feel supported and secure. All right. So hope you learned something today in the preview department from the professional series talking about making that money in the makeup artist union. Hopefully, you know, you think about being in the union that I'm in or any other union that you may be a part of. They're great things if you want to be a part of them. And if you haven't picked up my makeup book, Makeup is Just Colored Dirt, you should go ahead and do that. I talk about the unions in this book. Yes, I do. In the back, I talk about them and I even tell you all the information about them. If it's something you're interested in, you should follow my Instagram page, all right, which is Makeup Thompson. That's T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N. It's my last name. I'm trying to tell you. And follow my YouTube channel. If you're on it right now just click it over there and subscribe it's that easy did i tell you where to get my book at makeup is just colored dirt amazon.com or anywhere books are sold you're around the barnes and nobles you're like oh my god i need to get shannon's book it's there okay all right so have a great day and i'll talk to you soon